Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about getters and setters. Getters and setters are a way to get and set the value of a property in a class from outside of the class. So for this demonstration I'm going to use this cat class that I created in my video about creating classes and we'll look at some of these properties that we created. So here we have the name property and we have the age property. And you'll see here that we have some private variables. These are variables that are private to this class. In other words, they cannot be seen outside of this class module for both name and age. So let's look at this name property. So this first procedure here where I am saying get the name property as string. This is how I'm going to get the value of this p name variable out of the class. And this let property is how I'm going to set the value of this p name variable. So let's actually step through this code and see what we mean. So here we have a situation where we are creating a couple of cat objects. So I'm just going to step through this code so that you can see what's happening. Okay, so I'm coming to the age property and I'm setting the value of the age property to be 2. And so you see that I come here into the cat class, the ccat code, and I'm on this property let statement. And so what's happening here is that the age that I'm passing is getting passed to this procedure um, as an argument. You see there it's the 2, which is the age we are setting for this cat. And then this argument, we're setting p age to be the value of that argument. And that's this variable up here, which is private to this class. So now we have set p age to be 2. And we're going to do the same thing with the name. Fluffy, you see we come to this property let procedure. The name is Fluffy. And we're setting this p name variable up here to be Fluffy. And you see there it is, Fluffy. And so now we're coming to this show age method, which is going to actually use the age property that we just set. And so we come to this procedure, and when we come here, we see that p name is fluffy, and the age is 2. And those are the two variables that we set up here in our property let procedures. And the same thing is going to happen with the speak method, the name. We also have this private variable which is the sound um, a cat makes. And because the sound a cat makes is always meow, you notice that for this one, there's only a property get, right? There's a property get here, but we don't have the corresponding let. And that is because we are never going to set this variable outside of the class. It's always going to be the same. It's always going to be meow. And so we don't have a need for this procedure because we're never going to do something like this where we're setting it outside of the class, where we are setting it once we have instantiated the class. All right, I'm not going to do this next one. So we looked at the setter and we saw how we set the value of the property. But what about the getter? You noticed we haven't used it for either age or name. So why is it there? And the reason for that would be if we actually wanted to get the name of the cat. Like say I wanted to print out the name of the cat here. I'll put the name of the cat here and then I'm going to step through this code again and we will see what happens. So we step through and you see we're on the property let. We are setting the age. Okay and now we're setting the name which is fluffy. And I'm just going to skip over these ones. And now we come to this message box and now we see the name. Here we're trying to get the name from outside of the class. So I'm going to step through this. And you see now we're coming into this ccat module. And now we're on the property get procedure instead of the property let. Where we set the name with the property let. And now we are getting the name with the property get. And so we're getting the value that we have previously set to this p name variable that we set over here in the let. And then we just, that's how we get the name out. 
So the return value of this property get procedure is what we had previously set this p name variable to be with the property let procedure. Okay, and let's just look at that a little bit closer together. Let's comment all this out. We'll set the name and then we'll get it right away so that we see it, you know, one right after the other. So here's the setter, we're setting the name. So we're coming to this property let procedure. We set the value of this p name variable to fluffy and now we're going to get it. And so we're getting the value of this p name variable that we just set here. And there we go. So what is the benefit of doing it this way? Well, one of the benefits is that if we wanted to put some additional code into the setter or the getter, we can do that. For instance, say we wanted to validate that age is not going to be a negative number. So we can do that when we set the age property. So I can put in a conditional statement here that says, if the age is less than one, then we'll just give the user a message saying that they need to choose a positive number. Otherwise, we will set the age property. So let's give that a whirl. So let's try to run this code here that is going to set the name and age of the cat and then show the age and see what happens. So here we'll set the name. Here we're setting the age. And you see here we're going to do this age check. So if the age is greater than one, and it is, then we will set the age. And then we can go ahead and show the age, and Fluffy is two years old. But let's see if we make this a negative number. So Fluffy is negative two years old, and let's run this again. So we set the age, and we see, is the age less than one? And it is, and so we say the age must be a positive number. So we're going to get that message box. And then obviously we'll want to do some error handling here because we're coming up with, with something that is not correct. And then one other thing that I wanted to show you was you do not use let in every instance. If you are working with an object, then you actually need to use property set as opposed to property let. So let's do an example of that. Let's say we wanted to create a property that was a range. So I'm just going to create a range called cat name. And here I'm going to set the range where I want to print out the name of this cat. Okay, so I've got my properties for the range and I actually just copied it from name and changed the name of the variable and the type of variable. But there's one more thing that I need to do. Because a range is an object, I can't use this letter. I actually have to say instead of let, I have to use the keyword set. And just like any other time that you're setting an object, I need to use the set keyword. And so I need to put it in both places here. And so that's really the only thing that's different. If you're using an object, you can't use let, you need to use set, and you also need to use set in both instances where you're setting the object. So let's use this in our code. And let's just name the cat and then we will print the name of the cat out to the spreadsheet. Okay, so I actually wanna backtrack here for a second. I forgot to put my P here, and this is just the convention that I'm using, but essentially this variable name just needs to be different than this one. So I need to make this and this. The way I'm doing it is just adding a P prefix to let us know that it's private to this class. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to assign a name to the cat, to this cat object, and then we're going to print out the name of the cat to the spreadsheet. So we've already assigned the name of the cat here, and now what we need to do is print out the name to the spreadsheet by writing it to the range that we created in the class. So we're going to set the range equal to the first cell in this spreadsheet. And again, because this is an object, it's a range object, we need to use the set keyword. And now that we've done that, we can just set the value of this range to the name that we have given to the cat. Okay, and so let's go ahead and run this code. And we see that the name of the cat is printed out to cell A1 of this spreadsheet. 
And one last thing I wanted to mention is that you also can have the instance where you have a private variable, a variable that is private to this class, and it is used throughout the class, but it is not changed from the outside of the class, like we are doing here, where we're setting the variables outside of the class. And if you want to do that, then you can just do something like this. And then you can use the variable inside of the class, similar to how I've done here, and you don't need the getters and setters. All right, so I think that's it for getters and setters, and thank you for watching my video.